Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod in which we're playing as a certain mustache man. But the commies announced the popular front. Our communist parties announced that they have decided entirely without Moscow's help to align themselves with the moderate socialist and radicalist parties in the fight against the uh, other extreme side. Interesting. But we must continue with our focuses with absolutely no manpower. I mean, not man no manpower, but no fuel. Absolutely no fuel. Which we should probably go ahead and do. Reorganize corporations. Limit foreign trade. We probably should do that. Move towards autarky. Ooh, lose political power. For 10 years, you get more resource efficiency gain and less trade opinion factor. Reorganize corporations. Our state controlled cartels and private corporations must be reorganized a little to better serve the needs of the regime, which sounds absolutely perfect. Uh, but we, let's start going through a lot of the comments that we have from the last video and uh, say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me so far, especially in the comments and the likes and stuff like that. I do appreciate it. Uh, someone was wondering if we're monetized yet at the time of 1027, uh, p you know, at night. Still not demonetized. First video is not. So, not too bad. Cool. Uh, let's see. Someone says we should do Hearts of Iron 4, Sweet Home California, and Old World Blues. Unfortunately, that mod no longer works with the most recent update for Old World Blues. Hopefully, it can work again, but... Because that's actually a very, very sub fun sub-mod. But, it no longer works at the, at least the time of this recording. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I did bring up the, the potential reason... Or someone did try to bring up the potential reason for why Germany does not have its regular historical flag for this time period of 1936. And that is because, potentially, that uh, Paradox might get a little up uppity with the uh, inclusion of that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But if you don't have it, there would be less potential issues if you don't have it in the game. But then again, I'm not, I'm not the dev. I'm just here just playing the game. And you guys also are watching, but you never know why they didn't include it in. Maybe just because it was easy to control in, but the elections of 36. Elections were convened today as required by law, like the elections of November 1933. The process was made to give the national daddyists all Reichstag seats and cannot by any means be called a real election. In this election, minorities were prevented from voting and on one occasion, Rhenish voters were put aboard the airships Graf Zeppelin and the Hindenburg as they voted. Naturally, threats of violence in prison undermined most attempts to vote against the regime, which were registered as invalid votes. Why bother with these false elections? Because it looks good. That's why we do it. It looks good. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone else says, and uh, this mod is too political and ideologically uh, biased, which might be very true. I don't know. I really don't know this mod that well at the time it's recording. So, um, yeah, that might be totally absolutely true. Someone else, like, I think the Woodstock reviewed it and stuff and said something like that too. So, I don't know. But I do know that Yugoslavia is a, kind of a nice bluish color. Increased military construction is gone. I didn't even do any military construction at all. I'm just building up these civvies. We're going to have a massive civvy department here. Ooh, and some ships. Obviously, these ships aren't really not great, but we're led by Eric Raider. who looks like he's about to go dancing or somewhere formal. Cool. Now, what are we going to do with the PP? We can promote these guys again. Von Klug, thank you very much. Expands the Leibstaaten. Leibstandart. Very cool. And nothing else we can really do yet. The Confessing Church's Memorandum. The Confessing Church, under the direction of Martin Niemöller, has issued a memorandum to Mr. Schmittler, protesting the regime's treatment of the clergy. It denounced the regime's blatant anti-Christianity, rejected National Socialist anti-Semitism, and demanded that we cease interfering with the Protestant churches. Upon reading it, the Fuhrer flew into a rage, blaming the Lutherans for assisting societal decline. Arrest these traitors. Very cool. And which we'll go ahead and do... I really want to do the, uh, the rally here, the Ordnungspolizei. Yeah, we saw this yesterday. This gives you more support for your ideology, but nothing really great. We'll put it like that. But let's go limit foreign trade. Trading with foreign nations is the antithesis of national daddyism thought. We must discourage resources from leaving Germany, which is probably a pretty darn good idea. How are we doing with the ships or planes? Pilot exercises are very good. I would like quite a large air force before we go to war, but that's going to depend on how much of an industry we can build up as well. So... Additionally, other comments include, do some more Thousand Week Reich, I hope to, build a lot of panzers before we go to war, we'll try to, as well as get more planes, and Italy apparently lost their first war with Ethiopia in eight, or, yeah, when they went to war, war with Ethiopia, that was in 1895 to 96, in which they lost, obviously in 35 and 36, now they're going to win, slowly, very slowly, but they're still going to win, actually, can we see how many casualties they have? Eh, that's not bad for them, Ethiopia lost quite a few dudes, but it's... It's Ethiopia, what do you expect? But after limit foreign trade, we'll do Motard's Autarchy. 
If we're to become successful in Conquest, we must be able to supply ourselves, which is very, very true. It is so 36. We can do equipment conversion, but we're not going to. Fuel from oil, let's do that anyways. And which next up, we'll probably focus maybe a little bit more on planes because I really, really wanted to get some really good fighters. I think that'd be very important. Uh, other comments include, I need to show, or someone has requested that we sh I show you the UK and USA treats, which we will very soon. Uh, we really don't have that many divisions, do we? Oh my goodness, not very good. But Walter Veva dies. Lieutenant General Walter Veva, the head of our air command, has died today in a plane crash when the plane stalled in Carwheeled. It then crashed, causing the death of Veva and his flight engineer. As it turns out, the plane he was on was not pre properly checked before flight, and the guest locks were not removed. Or the guest locks were not removed. He'll be given a state funeral. Gosh darn it. Well, he's dead. Oh, he looks kind of depressed. Edward VIII. A non-traditional ruler. How do you stop shacking up with American women? Wow, there's a lot of democratic socialism up here. So they do have a unique focus here, which is kind of cool. Let's start from the far left side. The national government prevent... Ch prevent child abuse. Now, is that a good thing to do? That's probably a good thing to do. Rest As an American. Restrict firearm ownership. So I can never become British. Never ever could become British. Oh boy. Uh, but, uh, was that it? Cool. What else do they have around here? Incitement to Disaffection Act. Regulate electricity suppliers. Married women's rights. Hold on. Reforms in Scotland. The Vagrancy Act. Invest into Northern Ireland. Peaceful development. The Shadow Scheme. Prepare for war. New infantry small weaponry. Invest in Northern England. From the IMB. Learn from experience. A planning network. Modernize roads. Factories in Scotland. Invest in Southern England and prepare for war. The Peace Crusade. Cool. Coordinate with private companies. Uh, the illustrious class carriers. Looks kind of cool. And we'll go down to the second half below us about the cause of peace. Okay. Meet with the Americans. Because everyone loves America totally. Uh, defend Greece and Romania. Anglo-Balkan alliances. Huh. Alright. Anglo-Spanish Treaty of Alliance. Activate the Portuguese alliance. Okay. The Torch of Freedom. Looks pretty cool. Anglo-Polish diplomatic contacts, arm Yugoslavo babies, embargo Hungary, and meet with uh, some of France, Anglo-French mutual groups, Anglo-German alliance, that's kind of cool, liberalized trade with Germany in defense of Europe, More less Leninism, the menace of Moscow, the beast in Berlin, I kind of like that, send arms to Poland, embargo the USSR, guarantee the Baltic states, treaty of Bratislava, and support Spanish nationals, Anglo-Spanish pact of mutual protection, they're going to hang a lot of people, which is kind of cool. And we'll take out the rest, take a look at that. So, overall, someone did recommend we should go to the Technocrats. I would love to, but this is historical for support for autarchs. The autarchs, led by party officials, namely Hoyman Goring, are pushing for a series of years' plans, not unlike Soviet five year plans, increased military spending and a push for autarky. We should support this faction. Under Goring's system, the economy will allegedly be ready for war within five, four years. Oh, uh, we could probably do it in three. Fire production goes down, in which. Uh, as well as heavy fighter, air superior proponent, not bad. More military spending, less political power, which sucks. More resource efficiency gain. Consumer goods factors goes on for a while too. That's good. <coughs> My apologies, I had a sneeze there. Sneeze, 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 sneeze. Ah, uh, von Klusha? yes, please. Ah, thanks, good. Actually, at this point, let's. How many tanks are we making? Is it just one? Uh, don't do that. I don't want cavalry. I want them all to become tanks, actually. Cool. And Panzers. There you go. Hey! Alright, so... That's not bad. But... I don't think we can send divisions. Because we just don't have enough divisions. Um... Can we put these guys out immediately? Actually, if anything... We can probably just... Poop out a lot of, like, really crappy divisions. They need 300 equipment. You guys need 500. So do this one. And... Do this. Just make them as fast as humanly possible. Because we need divisions out now. Oh, or we do this. Support national Spain. The military rebellion in Spain has not been very successful so far, but the Spanish nationals are insp insisting in their struggle. While the foreign ministry is reluctant to support a rebellion against a country with 15,000 German citizens and 1,000 German companies, the party thinks differently. They argued that if the nationals win, they would be an ally against France, Britain, and the USSR, not to mention their min mineral resources. Their ministry is also eager to test new planes, and the war in Spain could be the perfect opportunity. Should we get involved? Nah, of course not. Of course we won't get involved. Of course we would never on historical. But can we seriously send planes? Because we need to send planes and such. Miguel Cabanellas? Cabanellas. Oh boy. 
Go low, go low for now. We want to send these guys out as fast as humanly possible. Get them out, 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 out. I don't want to lower that either, but we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, okay, okay. The war in Spain is an excellent opportunity to test our weaponry, to display our power to the world, and hopefully to secure Spain as an ally in the future. The Straits of Gibraltar and the Spanish tanks are very tempting targets, but first we must ensure Miguel Cabanellas, Cabanellas wins the war. Create this one? Uh, Foyer Zauber, as well as Condor Legion. I like that one. I'll do all them all. I guess we have enough BP for it anyway, so. In our own alliance, we will do that eventually. I feel like I'm behind in time right now. Send tanks? Do we not get to manually send stuff? Magic Fire will send the Spanish nationals the equipment they need to continue the rebellion, kind of religion. Their main unit in Spain will be formed by our best fighters, bombers, and pilots, and will ensure nationals air superiority for the duration of the war. We, oh, we can't actually manage the war ourselves. That kind of sucks. Oh! So this one transition to a war economy? Oh, we could have done that one. Anyways, we've still not fully mobilized our economy. We must transition to a full war economy immediately. Trade with Sweden wouldn't be bad. Increase military spending. Uh, we could begin the four-year plan. Agricultural focus. IG Fobin. So, yeah, we will have to go to war then. Bankruptcy is irrelevant. That's pretty true. I would like to go down this way, but if we do a ahistorical route with Hugenberg, we'll probably go down this way too. Balance of budget. That actually makes a lot of sense. But, the Hasag. We get more military factories, which is nice. I just want more civvies. But, I guess we'll do... I'll trade with Sweden. Sweden is a neutral power, and will thus be happy to give us resources. Cool. Other comments? Let's see. Oh, we still need to do with the UK focus tree. That's what I want to do too. Uh, fuel. Actually, can we get better planes? That'd be, oh, it was 35 planes. Okay. Basic machine tools. Cool. Get better cast as well. If we can. Medium aircraft. What is this? Uh, let's see. Messerschmitts. Is it? These are cast, right? Uh, do these out of necessity? These aircraft are larger, slower, and less agile than light fighters. We can still secure, secure quite a bit of armament. I think this is. It. Oh, oh, Junkers. Oh, these are Stukas. No, this is up here. Wait, so what? Um. Okay, medium aircraft, and then there's also heavy aircraft down here. What is this one then? Messerschmitts. Okay, well, we definitely want to go up there, so we got to wait for that, if that's the case. It is 36. So we don't want to fall behind too much, so get some better Panzers then. Lower taxes are done and over with. Oh, we're actually. We are on four full lines. That's not bad. Keep making stuff for now, and we'll start making some millies as well. Poop them out. Actually, let's see. I definitely want to get involved in the war down there, but we'll see what happens straight with Sweden. And we'll work with Hassan. Hugo Schneider Axien Gesellschaft mit der Warenfabrik is close to the SS, so we can further give them armament contracts. Nice. Fuel refining would be good as well. And get some more fuel from refineries. Yeah, that'd probably be good to do. Other com oh, not other comments. I, got I keep saying that. Uh, maybe should stop training for now, especially since we will get involved. we got to start getting a little bit more fuel, so I don't mind maybe buying at least one from the good old Soviet Union boys. They love us. They would never hurt us, right? Let's start building up some reserves. And let's take a look. Establish shadow factories. That's fine. Colonial policies. Start from the far left. Mediterranean policies. Keep out of Malta's cultural affairs. There goes Ethiopia. Restore Maltese self-government. Extend women's suffrage to Gibraltar. Well, wow. The African policy, English language education. All right, from the ANSAC. Imp imprison nationalist leaders. That sounds really good. Improve local representation, but imprison people. I like that idea. Oh, there's the Great Land Doctrine. And keep going down for a doctrine for now, because we can. That'll be good. What else we got down here? Middle Eastern policy. Anglo-Egyptian treaty. Pressure Egypt to legalize socialism. Okay. Withdrawal to the Canal Zone. The Peel Commission rejected the Peel Plan. And then a military solution, the partition of Palestine. Military presence, white papers, and the mandate. And India managed the Raj. Burma Road. East Asian policy, okay. Federate the unfederated states in Malaysia. Alright, so not too bad. This is a unique tree, which is very cool. We'll get to America soon as well. But, since we're here... We can stop making these garbage divisions. Goodbye. Thank you. And you should be led by whom? Uh, von Betzleben. And actually, just go and convert yourself to infantry. There we go. Because I want to send tanks. How many can we send now? Ah, they're doing quite well. Look at that. They're doing quite well. But we can send two. Perfect. These two divisions will go. And that should be led by who? 
Und nun statt von Kleist von Weichs. Because we can. Oh, Cadillo of Spain. Oh, nice. Very awesome. And how many planes can we send over here? Do we? 50. Not bad, actually. And we'll send you to do this right here. Because one, two, combine. There you go. And uh, get a little bigger. Very nice. We have no other guy here. That's okay. And there you go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, we have this one to do as well. I forgot about that. My bad. All right. New Bewegungskrieg. Yes, we would like to do that one. What else do we have down here, though? Increased construction employment. Construction spending. Yeah. We need a large supply of construction workers for our large construction projects. Makes sense. Lessons from the war. Um, we just get that stuff anyways. Lessons from the war air. That's not bad. We need to keep as much PP done as possible. And Von Munch. Oh, Von Munchstein. Yes. Send equipment, more equipment. Uh, we could, but I don't feel like doing that. Expand them. We'll be okay. Let's go grab lessons from the war, because all this stuff already down here is okay. Um, Palsic Frick is not really that great, but it's alright. Whatever. Von Neurath. Hey, Mr. Schmittler. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, all this other stuff is okay. I'd rather spend it for this stuff. Armor, that'd be really good for armor technology and land doctrine. That's pretty darn decent. <clears throat> But since we're down here, let's take a quick pa well, pause once we get over there. And FDR looks pretty good over there. And so on the far left, we can actually see what he's got. Inauguration Day. Create the Tennessee Valley Authority. Strict fiscal conservatism. I don't think you can do that with FDR, but okay. Spending is a key. Spend, 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 spend. Social security. Uh, let's see. The parliament will vote for this. The parliament? In America? Mm -hmm. what, what is this mod about? What the heck? Labor regulations. Tax redistribution, extensive housing projects, presidential election 36, so that's coming up soon. And we have the review the military, aging army, increase army funding, well, eventually. Continue modernizing the army, we have the Air Corps, modern Air Force, sub challenge. And actually, this is very small. The new foreign policy, anti espionage act, demand repayment of Tsar's debts. Alright. Reciprocal Terrorist Act. Well, okay, withdraw from Nicaragua. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for now. Wow, that's. Actually, not as expensive as I thought it would be. But, let's do what we do best and get involved here. I'm actually just going to promote you to Field Marshal. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's good. If we had more command power, I'd totally do that, but whatever. Alright, my tanky boys. Let's get going. Oh, this is anti and some air stuff, too. So That'd be pretty good. And how are we spending our military factories? Lots of guns, of course. Lots of that. Lots of planes, lots and lots of planes. Even if we don't get cast, having air superiority is going to be super crucial. Can you get involved there? No, okay, don't do that then. Um, where can we do somewhere easy? Or somewhere we don't get killed. Actually, coming down here might be better, actually. Let's go down there. Driving all over the place. In Spain. And we do have enough fuel for this, so that's not too bad. Guys, come on, let's go, 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 go. Because we can help them out, maybe. Oh, they're attacking us, so we'll attack them right too. Nice. Increased construction employment. Actually, what do we have here? Increased military spending until 37. Ooh, that's not bad. I like that. Autarchist laws will be removed in 46. MEFO bills will be due sometimes. Construction spending is not bad. Removed in 1940. Anti-intellectualism. It is what it is. And, oh, look at this. Oh, this is very nice. This tree is very, very nice. Um, increased military spending. The war has begun. Oh. Well, I guess we'll increase military spending. We need to spend more in the military in order to prepare for the coming war. Cool. Oh, they're throwing in more guys here. What's their armor like? Can they pierce us? Yes, they can, which is not very good, but they don't have air superiority when we do. If we can break through here quick enough, that would be very good to cut all this stuff. Cut off the capital. That would be really good, actually. Go, go, go. You we got it. Get that army XP. Yeah, boys. Oh, we, we didn't. They already got it. Okay, whatever. Um, We're waiting for that. Naval production could be improved. And actually, let's grab some better carriers. Yeah, let's do that first. I'm actually, let's group get some most resources for now. Cool. So all these guys should eventually be starving if they don't take the capital, so. And let's grab that air stuff. That'll be really good to get. Just so much more air XP. Oh, you guys can probably go in there and do very well. Wait, where'd the other tank go? Oh, you're down there. Oh, whatever, it's fine, whatever. Whatever. Come on, guys, keep going. Oh, are they doing last? They're not doing last stand now. Are these guys doing last stand? They might be, actually. But they're not. Fighting until literally they all die. Nice, good job, guys. 
Let's take advantage of the situation while they don't get any more supplies for the most part. We still get only 0.77 every day. <sighs> what a face. What a face. That's all I'm going to say. What a face. Cool. Let's see if we can go all the way in, maybe. That'd be really cool. I don't want to get encircled, though, but we'll see what happens. They're really just killing themselves. And we cut them off from that dockyard. Are they moving into there? No. Hey, but our guys are. Very nice. Uh, very, very good. Something like that. Not too worried about that. And how are we doing in air? We're doing quite well. Well, at least up there. We should do quite well right there. Very nice. Good job, guys. Good job. You want to attack from that position? That's fine. These guys are not looking very good, are they? No, they're not. Promote? Yes, please. Hans Guderian, who I almost usually never use. That's fine with us. Ah, look at that. So good. Especially since Madrid is the capital still. All right, so we go back over here and go that way. Yay! You've been completely cut off, which is perfect for us. And perfect right there, too. Increase military spending? Well, why not? Uh, bankruptcy is irrelevant, pretty much. This massive debt is fine. We'll make our money back by looting conquer nations. Totally. Uh, I haven't played Goring's Wild Ride in TNO yet, but this is going to be kind of like it. Nice. Well, I still have some docks over there, but that's fine. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Can you go in? Oh, one of these tank divisions is not looking very good, but he's becoming stronger and stronger than Vikes is, at least. Bankruptcy. Ah, oh, likes Vakam and Goring. Also called him and Goring Vaka. This conglomerate will allow Goring to nationalize resource refineries for the war effort. Great! Great, what's not to love? He even has a fat man there, too. Did you know he eats cheeseburgers in Thousand Week Reich? Ah, I did. I did. Sorry, spoiler. We could definitely use more tanks construction as well. We need 12, 1300. Wow, that's pretty bad. Uh, go and not attack over the river. That'd be pretty bad. Meza Schmitz, can you actually attack there, too? Is that over a river? That is over a river. God dang it. Go and hold. I don't want to lose the guys yet. Uh, better fighters, though. Good, good, good. Now, we're going to grab carrier fighters? No. What is it? Naval bombers? That's nice. Get some casts. I want to cast the hell out of them. Oh, baby, yeah. Um, it's not the most optimal position to be in. We'll go right here, actually, instead. Other comments? Let's see. Do more of this mod. Basically, yeah. I did say that uh, I would like to try Nationalist China out sometime, and we will. Not sure when, but we will. Oh, wow. How many? Hold on. There was two. There were a total of six divisions in there. Jose. Well, you lost Jose. Goodbye. But yeah, well, I would definitely want to do this. There's a lot more for me to do out, do out, do nationalist China as well. So we will probably, we will. You gotta give me time. Panzerkampf Wagens, very cool. Thirty six. Get some more artillery, anyway. Since we're technically not at war, but we're waging battles, anyways, and they're gonna die here. Goodbye. Not a good idea to do that during war, but whatever. And since we're here, go ahead and just do that. And we're going to grab one thing of chromium as well, because I want full production. With the good old boys of the Soviet Union. Actually, oh, wait, I forgot about this. Um, 80% is pretty darn nice, actually. There you go. The entire Rhineland, just keep going. Don't worry about it. Anything else? Yes. Promote some people. Expand the Sisha Heights Deans to make sure that the NSDAP and the SS can function unimpeded. We must strengthen the resources of the Security Service. Uh, we get more stability. We already have a 96%. That's pretty darn good. I'm going to save our PP then. Let's go ahead, guys. Even though you're lacking in armor and stuff like that, you're still looking very good. Hey, they died. Barcelona. I'm, I'm a little surprised they're not attacking Madrid like crazy. Because that's usually what the AI does, but they're not. Which is actually pretty good for us. Pretty good. We have so much army XP too now. Which is pretty good too. One, two, three, four. Four some. Not bad. Now they're attacking like idiots. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the old AI I know. Uh, I really want to help them out, but... Oh, they're still up there, too. That's not good. Hey, green air. Look at that. Beautiful. We even have less planes, but we're... That's a lot of army XP. I love it. Or air XP, I should say. And the plunder economy. Local resources. Local factories. Begin the four-year plan? Yeah, why not? The first of Hemingway Goring's year's plans, the Soviet-esque economic plan, is claimed to be able to modernize or mobilize the economy for war in four years. Well, we could probably do it in two, actually. It's already 37, so... Okay, you might actually be able to win there, then. Good. Nice. And they're going to attack us like crazy. Help, help attack right there. You might actually do okay. And a little bit of a struggle never hurt them too much. They might have killed them off, but whatever. Cool. Other comments. Uh, do the end of a new beginning mod playing as a suit. Well, we, we, we might. I don't know. There's no guarantee. Maybe eventually we will, but that'd be kind of cool. 
I need to get back into the mob, but that mob just takes so long to play. It takes an incredibly long time to play, so we'll see what happens. That's the same amount of planes, but you're just a little bit faster. Not by much, though. Really, not by much. Oh, uh, there you go. You're done. You're in. Nice. Boom, boom. Lots of carriers for now, and... Uh, I, we, uh, let's get some destroyers, too. We're, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need a lot of guns. Artillery as well, but put you under them. There you go. So, we're, at this point, because it's getting close, one, two, three, four. Once we get five maxed out, we're gonna get then switch things over to three at all times, making millies, and then two on civvies. Begin the four-year plan. Agricultural focus. The four-year plan will focus somewhat on agriculture, ensuring that our military has enough food to eat. At least for a while. The Hamburg disaster. Today, one of our airships, the ZLZ-129 Hindenburg, was destroyed while attempting to land at Naval Air Station like Hearst in New Jersey, USA. As it was docking with its design mooring mass, a fire broke out on the port side as the wind changed and the ship had to change ballast configuration. The hydrogen in the airship soon ignited, bringing the Hindenburg down in a fiery blaze. All in all, 36 people died. A terrible, terrible tragedy. Quite terrible. Take that and you should be golden. Nice. I'll go ahead and make these guys because in 91 days this isn't great, but whatever. At least get one of these levels going for these guys. That'd be good. Yeah. Go in. And we are slowly losing. Winning. Yeah, we're, we're, we're becoming an engineer. That's what I can say about that. We're becoming an engineer here. Actually, how many men have lost their lives in this war? Quite a few. Not nearly as much. So. Was that two and a half to one ish? Ooh, we're starting to lose here, actually. But how much for engineer? A well, thirteen. We're becoming an urban assault specialist as well, which could prove to be very, very useful in the future as well. So, he's he's learning. He's learning. It's going to hurt our divisions a little bit, but that's all right. They they should be out of supply, honestly. But whatever. <clears throat> IG Fobin refineries. This would be handy. Built by IG IG Fobin. These oil refiners will give us a good supply of oil and rubber for now. Not a perfect amount, but a good amount. Other comments include: Does the AI Japan Japanese? Or if the Japanese AI go to war against China in this mod? Technically, they should. They should be able to. I'm not really sure, but they should. Oh, maybe not. Air production. Um, they do have a unique focus view, which is kind of cool, but... Stable government beer. Got a control. Crisis is over. Maybe they don't, actually. Huh. That is odd. That is very weird. But maybe they do. Maybe they manually go to war, but... It is 37, though. Hmm. It's odd. Very weird. Conscription. Uh, actually, uh, before we spend our PP... Nope, that's it. Okay, well, we have to manually increase it. That's fine. There you go. Just in case for the future. Just in case. It's all for fun. Bikes to learn more. Become an organizer. And someone recommends we go technocrats, but that's not very historical, and I would like to go historical for this campaign. And someone said the Treaty of Versailles might actually have been limiting Germany's intel agency, so that's why we don't start with one. So we could do one now. But I don't want to spend too much on this, because that's 15 civvies. And we've already made a lot. Okay, let's go start building up some major industry here. We've already built some roads, so three and two is kind of what I want to do, so. Already upgrade. It is 37, so it's good to keep in mind. I've done all that stuff. That is in 38, actually. Radar would be very nice. 37. We can actually grab more output. Nice. I'm not used to that. I'm really not used to that. <clears throat> and I will take Barcelona. Okay, I was wrong. I was very wrong. They actually do go to war with them. Nice. We could use a fifth research slot, though. We really could. Because uh, there's so much we have to research. Nuclear stuff? Is that worth it right now? Probably, honestly, not. Get more construction speed. We gotta produce, 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 produce. Keep going with three and two at all times. We gotta have a massive economy. Actually, do it here. Brandenburg's better. Cool. Actually, if we just take this state, uh, they're completely out of supplies, though. There you go. Now they completely out of supplies. Which should kill them off a little bit faster. Expand them? No, we're kind of okay. Which you want to integrate? Gotthard Renrici, which I usually like to use. And Boeing. Cool. Expand these guys, and we're kind of okay. After the factories, expand the Kriegsmarine. We could do that, but the plunder economy. We could probably do that. We'll begin paying off our debt by looting and plundering conquered nations. Makes sense. And two days, well, not bad. And how are they not taking any sort of supply issues? That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. 
Alright, so we spread them out well enough. Let's go over here, maybe, and just kill them off this way. One by one. I mean, using these guys in the mountains is not a very good idea, but whatever. Actually, we take Madrid. That might be all we need, really. There you go. Only want one for now. Actually, we got plenty enough guns. Let's keep it where it's at, but continue working on stuff down here. We don't need artillery upgraded right now, because we all want to make sure we got enough of everything else. Uh, let's see. That's nice and all. We cast. Actually, bombers would be good. Uh, we need that one too. Alright, screw this. Just go to Madrid. One, two, three. One, two. Not bad. Need a bind. Just go up there. Just get that extra little boost up first. Good. Slightly faster. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt to take out. No wonder these guys haven't been doing anything yet. But we can slowly win against them. If they can't pierce both of our divisions, we'll do okay. There's more artillery. If you need it, really. Oh, these guys are strong. That's not bad. All right, did we win here yet? No, we're slowly winning, though. That's good. Norway wants to buy fighters. The Norwegian ambassadors approached us with an offer of buying a good couple of dozen of our newest tactical bombers. The money they offer is nothing to scoff at, as, but as always, things are not so simple. The military might be angered by the display of opportunism, not to mention the public taking ill at a perceived whoring out of Germany's military with war on the horizon, of course. Such negatives could be spun into positives, and the military might be pleased by putting by pulling Norwegian slightly closer to us, and the public might be pleased by offering its additional protection to our Norwegian brothers and sisters. Politics, as always, are a gambler's game. We don't have anything to offer them. Oh darn, that sucks. Well, we did go to Turkey, so what do you expect? Keep going. Oh, they just threw another division in there or something like that. Plunder economy is nice. Yeah, it's going to take forever to do, but that's fine with us. We get more army XP. Let's go and do new Bewegungskrieg. It's clear that trench warfare failed us in the last war. Our new military strategies will be based around fast movements and panzer combat. Very good. Oh, we got that one division. Nice. They have nine divisions in there. Holy crap. Let's help out up here first. These guys got to go. They've got to go. Do three, four, five. Good. Now we're going to... Oh, we're still mobilizing more. Oh, ship-wise. Going to do that. Make sure we repair whatever we need as fast as possible. And we are up here. Good. Help them out. Because then when those guys are gone, then these guys will be gone. And then focus on Madrid. That'll be good. And we're back here. Oh, they're actually attacking down there. Nice. Are we still fighting planes? No, we're not. Cool. You guys head on over to here and do that. I think they're done, for the most part. Cool. Yep, they're done. We won. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. New Bevegan Street, motorize our troops. In order to get our soldiers around faster, we needed to develop new motors and engines. That's very true. Very good. So, what happens after we get when we win? That was a good question to ask. What do we do when we win? <gasps> Look at that! We have a carrier! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's good! That's good! Germany has a carrier, the Graf Zeppelin. Very nice. Very, very nice. Awesome. Now, that should help secure our fleet just a little bit more when it goes against the Royal Navy. You'd hope so, at least. Now, we can do stuff down there. We did a lot of this stuff as well, which is oh, average. Done. That's good. Western direction, let's do that one immediately. We will fight against the Western nations, including the ultimate enemy, Britain. Because there will be no peace with those guys, and we'll keep focusing it down here a little bit more now, because we will claim the old territories. We could relinquish claims in the West, which people would like that, but we're not going to do that. You crazy. So I, li I like the strategy that we have. Two on civvies and three on millies for now, just because we want to make ourselves as strong as possible. And especially in 37. It is late 37, don't get me wrong. It is late 37, but still. My Motorized my, my troops, good. Western direction, good. Up next, keep making construction stuff. Oil game from oil. A fuel game from oil. Uh, that's close. 37. Oh, let's get better. We gotta get better guns, man. What am I doing? Um, after that, what are we gonna do? More cap? More bomb vulnerability? So be it. Whatever. So after this, we'll do claim old territories. The French and the Belgians claim some of our old territories. We need to make it clear that we want it back. We want them back. Absolutely. Go medium. Go medium. Uh, our tank divisions are actually 20 combo with, which we established last time. If we're here, we're gonna go ahead and switch us around. Armored companies. Well, we're using tanks anyways. So might as well use, them. use these guys, then. Like that. As well as, I will use maintenance, actually, as well as signal companies. Because I don't always use these guys, but they seem very usable. Claim all territories is good. And Anglo-German naval agreement? Maybe. The British are concerned about our naval expansion. We shall sign a treaty assuring them that we will remain within about one-third of their tonnage. Obviously, we do not have to abide by this treaty. But it's very good for us. And Emma Dutman? Very good. Uh, motorized Abteilung? Would, would it be bad? 
we have more than enough army XP for this right now. Let's go and do that. And go ahead and maybe... I don't want to make too many of these divisions, so we'll make one at a time. That'd be fine. Frycor, Gunnisons, these guys, not too bad. How much artillery do we have? Because that'll save us on guns. Not that much. Can we convert you guys over immediately? Yes, but no. If that's the case, we're not going to worry about that then too much. I want to make more of these divisions, which are not obviously not that great. But we have enough army XP, I don't really care. Actually, how much anti air do we have? Do we have enough for this? We do. And get them signal companies. And let's go with field hospitals. I want cavalry. Or not cavalry, but recon eventually. But then let's do that. 20 combo with infantry. That should be good enough to hold the line for a while. Um, I don't care that these guys are different. Well, if we get big enough, we'll go ahead and train like a. Uh, Actually, go, go, oh, we can't go 11, that sucks. Um, just bigger. And they signed a treaty. After weeks of preparation and negotiation, the British have allowed us to let us partially rearm our navy. This means we'll be able to build up a powerful naval force without unnecessary international oversight, meaning that soon Germany, not Britain, will shall rule the waves. We shall be indivisible. Yeah, we must do that since we got a uh, bonus and denounce democracy. Democracy is an evil that must be crushed. Democracy allows people to wander off on their own without guidance from the state. This cannot do. Oh, let's do that too. Boost, 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 boost. And we're still building up some infrastructure, which is very nice. Obviously, it's not the most, you know, important goal. I honestly would prefer us building up some more of this. Uh, let's do that. It's kind of a back idea in the back of our mind right now. Ooh, I want to do... I really want to do this one. Naval cooperation and a conciliatory power, but remilitarize the Rhineland. The Franco-Soviet Treaty of 35 is going to encircle our state. We must remilitarize the Rhineland to prevent this from becoming a problem. Which is good as well. So, since we're here, we have enough divisions for this. Uh, we need a new Field Marshal, Von Manstein, no. La Habanera. Dev Detlev Sirak's new movie, La Habanera, has premiered today. It features a Swedish woman who gets married on Puerto Rico, shot on the Canary Islands, who soon realizes her marriage is unhappy. Eventually, she manages to return to Sweden. The film also features national socialist propaganda, depicting the U.S. as a reason for corruption and suffering on the island. A pretty decent watch. Maybe not the perfect, but pretty decent. Good? No. Uh, there, you guys are too politically collected. Wilhelm List. I know this is not very historical when we're using this guy, but whatever. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait to do that stuff, just because we can. You guys, you're going to be under someone else. Uh, yeah, there you go. Cool. We really don't have that many divisions. This is really not good, but whatever. Uh, bingo, what's his name? -o? Von Munstein? Actually, we can get involved in China, too. That would be kind of wild if we could. Uh, I don't want to send infantry. I don't mind sending you guys, the Fry Corps divisions, just because you kind of can get bullied, which is fine with me. I don't, don't want to lose tanks over here, which would be so bad. I don't know why I put Heinz Guderian with them, but whatever. It's not very historical, obviously, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm 100. We can send 100 fighters. We got 100 fighters to spare. You guys, don't die too hard over there. Oh, this has been bombed to heck and back. Wow. Oh, that's not there. Oh. Yep, good luck, guys. Good luck. You're going to need that. Uh, Plane-wise, we want to have a massive air force. Do it. All right. Promote uh, Marshall, Wilhelm Marshall. Indoctrinate the Hitler Jung Laddienst. Bring in the Hitler Youth Land Service into the SS's fold. will strengthen the SS and thus our government. Uh, I mean, I guess we could. Our own alliance? Oh, it is now 1938. Germany shall not join the alliance of any other nation. Germany shall be a world hegemon, so we shall create our own faction. The Axis powers will be a champions of militarism, supporters of the fascism and national daddyism, and we shall aim to break the Western capitalists and Eastern Bolsheviks. Cool, we definitely gotta do that one. And we shall go ahead and do Fortify the West Wall from the RKB. Oh, claim Middle Africa. I like that. Which we do have to do this one as well. War with France, Fortify the West Wall. Um, Heimenreichs. Heimenreichs, or Home to the Reich, will be our foreign policy from now on. We shall attempt to regain all of G German land from Nemo to Antwerp. The Rhineland remilitarized. Despite fears of French invasion, we have managed to march our soldiers all the way to the French border. The Rhineland is now fully part of Germany once again as the French have backed down. Germany is back, in which we will also do northern direction. Scandinavia is technically German, and another front we have to deal with, but unfortunately, I must end this episode here. But if you enjoyed the video, do please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, when we will go to war with Poland, and hopefully do relatively okay. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.